Hello everyone, this is Kayvon Atkinson, and I'm here today to discuss a couple aspects of Chapter 4 that I thought were worth noting. The first question I have is uh, over the Ingredient Supplier Qualification Form. And uh, now, would having a food company fill out the Ingredient Supplier uh, Qualification Form make more sense than having the actual supplier fill it out? Uh, after reading over the chapter, um, the the food company in question is you know the one that actually looks for the supplier of the materials so it just seemed kind of odd to me for them to uh, it almost seemed like they just picked the company at random and then expected the company or the uh, the supplier company to tell the food company why they're good enough to meet their needs and for me the food company in question should have done the research themselves and made the inquiries themselves as to why the supplier in question is good enough to meet their needs. It shouldn't be solely based off of um, the supplier responses. So, um, and also for me, it, this would uh, allow the food company to make a quicker decision. Um, they don't have to uh, rely on these uh, supplier companies to get back to them with the forms and um, and, and things of this nature, the, the, if the food company filled out the form itself, they could get the answers right there and then. Um, and a quicker decision process would also allow the uh, food company to determine if the supplier um, is good enough or not and if they need to move on to the next candidate in question. Now, the second question I have is... Um, over the confidentiality of uh, raw material processing. And um, is it okay for a supplier to have the material processing procedures as confidential when uh, using a HACCP system and uh, these other uh, contamination preventative methods are, are what uh, you know, pre prevent any product, uh, defective product from being on the market or any unsafe product from being on the market? Um, now, I, I know in the end that the product itself can be tested for safety. There, there can be objective tests of, of uh, pH, you know, things like that to um, determine, well, I guess not pH, but um, if uh, there's microorganisms on the uh, product that can potentially cause harm and, and all that can be tested afterwards. But um, for me, the process information should be readily should be readily available for the food companies to make their own determination as to if the process is safe or not, or if this is something that they want to be associated with their company. Um, it just uh, it, it just seemed like something that didn't need to be confidential if the the process is truly safe. And again, I know that the end product can be tested for safety standards, but um, there's really no way of knowing if the process is safe without knowing exactly what the process is and what these critical control points on the process are. It's, it's kind of hard just to uh, take a supplier's word for it. Um, so tell me what you think in the comments below and, and have a good day.